Welcome to this introduction to Stata. I'll explore further the do files and log files and show you how they're used in practice. We've learned a lot of commands. What if you wanted to save them? That's where the do file can come in. And you open a do file by going to the window, do file editor, and to the new do file editor. And from here, you can actually just copy and paste the commands you like from the review window uh, and just put it into your do file editor. So from here, say we'd like this and you can hit control and select multiple commands at once to paste into your do file editor. So I've copied all of these just now and now I'm going to go back to my do file editor and paste them right in. Immediately you can see that there are different colors that the do file has. The blue usually represents the main command. It can also represent special options apparently here and you can add a comment inside your do file editor. You can annotate your do file editor. There are many ways to do so. You can add it at the end of a line by saying anything you want. For example, we can say tabstat looks at numeric variables. And you can see immediately the comments become green. You can also add comments in their own lines. For example, we can hit enter here and you can insert a line with an asterisk. So you can say below are examples of the options of tab stat and that becomes one line. If you started another line without any indicator of it being a comment, it will perceive it as a command. Watch this. The text is not green, therefore Stata doesn't consider that a comment. You can make it a comment by doing many things. You can put an asterisk, then it becomes green. You can also write comments over many different lines. So you can actually tell Stata that you're interested in a comment with multiple lines by typing slash asterisk and everything below it Stata thinks is a comment now because everything became green. So you can keep on typing what you need to do. Keep keep on commenting and when you're done commenting you end it with the asterisk and slash and everything else below becomes a command again and yet another way to add a comment is to put two slashes and just type what you need to type and the next line again will become what Stata thinks is a command so here you are here's a do file and what it can do Now I'm going to save this and I want to run it later. So let's save it as anything you want. All right, so I've saved it here in my folder and we can pick it up and run it again. Log files are really handy because we can record the output of our status session with all the results and tables and Stata won't forget it. Here's how a do file can go hand in hand with a log file. If you remember, a log file will actually record in real time your Stata output. You can also tell the log file to pause and resume. You can also close the log file. So we can open a log file right now. Begin and we have to save it as something. Let's call it test log save. Now it's started and it shows you what time. Now I can type that command in and it will have recorded it in the log file. Now I can also run my do file that I had saved just before and the magic of the do file is that all the commands you put inside the do file you don't have to retype it again you can just run it on Stata it will show everything. It will go through all the commands and show you the output. Now if we scroll up we see that our comments up here are not considered commands. So here at the end we see that it's the end of the do file. It finished. It had taken our commands and made the output. Now we can actually close our log file and we can check our log file to see if it's recorded everything we wanted it to. So we can open the log file right now and you can see it has recorded exactly when we started the log file. It recorded the command I first placed here and then it did the do file over here and it shows over here 
the first commands. It shows also the comments I put. And again, it shows exactly what the output was in our Stata window below, the end of the do file, and I had closed the log file over here. This concludes the second video in the Stata introductory tutorial.